In a beautiful castle of a beautiful village lost in a group, an ugly little girl was born. Her parents, however, didn't find her ugly. In fact, they thought she was the most beautiful princess. And what name did they give to the new little princess? Well, they named her Dolores and they used to call her Lolita. On the day of the birth, there was a divine party because the beautiful fairy godmothers were invited. In the list of guests, oh, what a forgetfulness! The name of the fairy Agri Margura was not written. The fairies passed in front of the new world to give her gifts and virtues in her life. May you be sweet, my child. May you not forget the world. Thank you, please, and you are welcome. May you be very intelligent. And may you learn interesting things from books. When the fairy Maquillada was approaching the cradle, an immense gray cloud covered the moonlight. And suddenly, right in the middle of the room, the fairy Agraria Margura appeared, casting a curse. When she comes of age and competes in Miss Primor, the jury will think that the girl is a horror and that she is that context because of a regrettable mistake. People will laugh and throw tomatoes at her. The ugly princess will jump off a tower and hit her head and sleep for a hundred years. And who will wake her up? Well, a brave prince who will give her a passionate uh, and a ardent kiss of love. But tell the truth, do you think that can happen? To such an ugly princess who would want to kiss her? <laughs> Her be the prettiest. May she be the most beautiful. The father and mother implored the fairy maquillada. Come oh, no, my dear. My power doesn't go that far. Beside the girl is ugly. But not afraid. I will do my best to undo the spell why might Han Marchan. Listen to what my song says here. Ay, nena, nenita, nena, nena, ay, nena de mis amores. Don't worry about anything. There are color for every taste. And your brings my girls, will fit a diplot. Because for him, you will be the most beautiful in the world. Anyway, the parents took their worries and tried to make the girl develop her talents. Years later, Lolita grew up. Everybody knew that she had good manners. She was cultured, wise, and fine. And in place, she was always in the cast. And the day came when the whole place was filled with joy and began to celebrate. The most awaited, yes, the best, the best, was the famous contest called Miss Primor. I don't want to be a contestant. I really prefer to read something interesting. However, the three fairies who were somewhat pain pushed her into the contest because she was good and smart. But when the judges saw her, they were furious at the mistake, so that, in effect, the course was fulfilled. A crowd of billions threw tomatoes at her, claiming that it was just nonsense. Even if she's the princess, she's not the beauty. And if she's a contestant, it's not fair. Embarrassed, Lolita quickly climbed the tower 
jumped down in despair and made up a big bump. Ouch! I am very sleepy. Oh! I gonna take a nap. Bye. To make a long story short, the bed of silk and tulle slept the sleeping ugly. But Prince Charming passed by. He came from afar. He came at full gallop. And seeing her, he said, How beautiful! I swear he was not myopic. What happened was that he had a deep look. He knew that beauty was only a facade. He noticed that the princess was tightly hugging the book she was reading before the sad incident. Oh my god, what my have seen is my favorite book. And what a coincidence, he couldn't believe it. It was the same book he liked to read. It gave him immense joy, he felt a great emotion. He took the young girl in his arm and kissed her passionately. Then the sleeping ugly opened her eyes, although she was still dreaming among soft pillows. Are you my Prince Charming? I am any color and you are the prettiest. And although she remained ugly only to certain people, she was indeed the most beautiful to the brave prince, to the fairy godmothers, to friends and relatives. And what happened to the fairy Agria Margura? Well, the fairy Bitter Bitterness, or well known as Agria Margura, became ill with bitterness. Ah, so we can say the beauty is temporary, but envy cannot be cured. That's right. The end. We hope you like this story told by the members of the English classes, kids and teenagers. Thank you.